Bangladesh liberation war is one country which where it, in the history of modern uh, world which is born because of on the basis of the language that is Bangla language. Mm -hmm. See the language that is so prominent the reason why the country is born you do not write in that. True. How do you explain that? <laughs> language is a very tricky thing. <laughs> well um, the language movement that you mentioned that took place after the partition. You see, What happened is that <clears throat> the Pakistani establishment wanted to impose Urdu as the state language. Now, Urdu is uh, actually the mother tongue of just a small percentage of people in what was Pakistan. Um, so it was a totally misguided you see, um, decision. The, in what was East Bengal, um, people resisted. And they told Jinnah that you know, we will not accept this. And so the students went on strike, they agitated, and five were killed by the police. That is the so origin. But alongside, you see, there was also uh, economic disparity between the two wings of Pakistan. So the two things were inter intertwined, you know, the economic uh, r resentment and the question of language. And when the, the independence war took place, so the language movement was seen as a kind of, as, an, uh, as a big landmark that uh, in the way, in the shaping of our national identity. Um, now, after the, you see, before, before 71, Actually, I went to a kindergarten school. I was educated entirely in English, which is why English became my literary language. After we became independent, the English medium system was scrapped. So uh, that it used to be uh, English medium, but following the national curriculum, which you also have, I'm sure. That was scrapped, and the vacuum has been filled by new English medium schools which prepare students for the IGCSE and a few for the IB. The result is that um, this, the new generation of upper middle class children are more alienated from the uh, native culture than we were. Because even though we were taught entirely in English, it was the same the national curriculum and we were at home in both actually. Um, and which is why I have done a fair bit of translation from Bangla into English. So it's like um, instead of writing in Bangla, I, I have translated from Bangla into English. Now after the independence, after independence, um, the, uh, again, the question of Bangla as, our, as the uh, essence of our national identity that was, um, you know, uh, highlighted. But in the process, the l language and culture of many small ethnic groups was sidelined. And then Bangladesh succeeded in having the U U UNESCO recognize the 21st of February, which is when the mm. students were killed, as International Mother Language Day. And so now, so that has brought the marginalized languages into the scene. So uh, we have to now, uh, there are about 38 languages according to one count. And all of them, each, in each of these language communities, you have a cosmogony, um, you know, a, a, a mythology, uh, folk tales, fairy tales, and some contemporary writing as well. So uh, they, those two are now, I mean, have to be recognized as part of the uh, linguistic um, mosaic of Bangladesh. So even though the vast majority speak Bangla, we have these languages. Um, we have even a few uh, Urdu speakers, or a small number of Urdu speakers, because in old Dhaka, the, uh, the original inhabitants of old Dhaka 
um, speak a kind of Urdu. See? They demotic, speak Urdu. Uh, demotic Urdu. Because they went with the, as uh, camp followers of the Mughals mm. and settled there. And even now you can hear this demotic Urdu in old Dhaka. Plus there were those who were stranded, you know, who uh, claimed they are their Pakistanis and then now they have, uh, you know, accepted Bangladesh. So they have, they also speak Urdu. And there's a small, uh, even a small Urdu literary circle. They mm -hmm. publish, you know, magazines and things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yes, Bangla is the language of uh, the, the uh, more than 95%, you know, almost 100%. But we also have these other languages. And English as a literary language is now becoming more important. Thank you.